The, the, uh, the temperature is as high as I've ever seen it. Um, the people are extremely upset. Government is broken. Government is beyond reform. It needs transformational leadership. And in, in my view, um, there's two ways to do it. Um, I believe that Governor Andrew Cuomo will turn this state upside down with decorum. I believe Carl Palladino will turn this state upside down with a baseball bat. So pick which one that you want. And, uh, and right now, though, it's so volatile out there and people are so angry, uh, I'm not quite sure what the people are going to do. I'm also hopeful uh, that starting January, January 1st, 2011, um, I happen to know Andrew Cuomo a little bit, and in my view, he is not going to play second fiddle in the Shelley Silver Orchestra. And so I believe and I hope that January 1st, 2011, we have a new speaker. He's been there 17 years, and I think it's time for a change. He has what I call accumulated power. He, he runs every two years in an assembly district. He, he, he yields uh, less than 20,000 votes. The South District Councilman, Mickey Kearns, gets more votes than the speaker gets, but yet he has equal power to a governor who gets four million votes. Why? It's because every single member of the assembly, Democrats, have, have, have surrendered to him. He controls it. I haven't. I don't belong to, to the team. And, uh, and so that, that is the reason why I can say and do whatever I want to in this interview. You interview anybody else, they're guarded. And especially when you bring up the speaker, they're guarded and, and they're not allowed to say or do anything unless they ask permission from him. As far as I can tell, since 1777, every speaker has been an old white man. So within, the, within your assembly members, within the boroughs, you have the most prominent organization called the Black and Puerto Rican and Asian Caucus. There's, there's probably 75 members, all you need is 76 for a majority vote out of 150, right? There's probably a majority membership that, that you could, so, so may, maybe it's time to have somebody other than a old white man become the speaker uh, of the assembly. That could be one way that you would then entice members of uh, assembly members of color to say hey this could be our time maybe we could have somebody uh, maybe a woman may, maybe somebody else that that would represent uh the the assembly and the majority in the city of new york no i, I you know i i have a business relationship with him and it's my job to i mean I, I i have constituents to represent and so i have a business relationship with the speaker uh, but the, the difference is that I didn't join the club I don't belong to his team he's not my boss and so therefore I can say and do whatever it is I want to say and do and if there were other members of the assembly who put themselves in that position we would be much better and this and this government wouldn't be broken the way that it is right now I have put myself out as a can candidate for speaker. But let me just tell you how pathetic this is. Out of 105 Democratic members of the assembly, I can't get one of them, not one, to nominate me. Why? Is because they would have to ask the speaker permission to do that. And so therefore, that's not gonna happen. Uh, so at the end of the day, however, I'm told, I don't know this individual, I'm told that the uh, challenger who beat Assemblywoman Francine Del Monte from Niagara County, apparently a few days before the primary, I didn't know this until after the primary, that he suggested, his name is John Accardo, he suggested that he would vote for me for speaker. So that means I've now got somebody to nominate me. I'm certain though the parliamentarians of the assembly are not going to make this easy for me and so I'm probably going to need a second and at this moment I don't have one. That is the reason why. I'm sending a letter to those Democratic nominees who are non-incumbents running in November asking them if we could kind of work together. And, uh, and then therefore, if I know I have a, somebody to nominate me and I know if I have a second, I will then officially ask Sheldon Silver to come to Buffalo to debate me, not only on UB 2020, but some other 
uh, uh, subject matters th that I feel we're getting the short end of the stick. Uh, the, the, the UB 2020 is just one thing, but why, why does the city of New York have two brand new stadiums and a convention center? And what do we have? Nothing, nothing. That is going to be part of the debate, and I'm certain the speaker won't come to have that debate because he's insulated. He doesn't have to. He doesn't really care what any of the voters or my constituents think here. He does not care about it. 